In the spirit of aloha, lays give a warm welcome, and making them yourselves adds meaning to it, as well as being a fun party activity for your luau. These are artificial, so they're also reusable. I got a bunch of these flowers at the Dollar Tree, and I'm sure you can find them online. So be sure to check out the description below because I'll be adding all the links for all the supplies. Now, let's get cracking. First, you'll need to measure how long you want your lei to be. Roll out some twine and double it up. By doing this, we're making the string stronger. Put it around your neck and make it even on both sides. When you have your length set, thread one end through a sewing needle. I used a heavy duty one because it was easier to thread the thicker twine. Slide the needle through the twine until it's in the middle. Now, we'll need to prep our artificial flowers. Remove the flower from its stem, but don't pull off the sepals. That's the greenery below the flower. They'll act as spacers between each flower. Some might have disc flowers like this, which you'll also have to take off. So what you'll be left with are the petals and sepals. With our string and flowers prepped, it's time for the fun part of arranging our flower pattern, or even use a single flower throughout. Thread the needle through the petal's center hole and sepal. It's up to you whether you want to have your flowers face upwards or downwards. I don't think there's that much of a difference. Slide the flower down to the other end of the string and repeat. This step will take quite a while, so buckle in for the ride. I think with this one, I'm going to double up on the orange flower because it's not as big as the pink one. If you end up running out of flowers, don't worry. You can add some more space between them later. Just lay it out into one long line and shift the flowers here and there until they're evenly spaced out again. Keep in mind that you don't necessarily need a tight stack of flowers. At the beginning of your string, knot it twice. Tie both ends together with two knots. And then put the lay around your neck to see the length of it, and you can make adjustments as needed. Now, with scissors, you can cut off some of this excess so it doesn't show beyond the flowers, and then you're good to go, you have your lay. If this video helped, please give us a like. And if you're looking for more arts and crafts how-tos, or to learn something new and entirely different, be sure to check out our how-to hub and subscribe. Your next project might be right here. Well, I gotta make some flower crowns to go with my lays, so I'll catch you guys later. Oof. I really like this color.